I'm sure the day of I'll have anxiety and I'm sure the day of I'll have nerves and I'm sure the day of I'll probably my head will be spinning with, whoa, this is crazy. It's a wedding, nine days. What mm -hmm. can you tell me about where you're getting married and yeah. all that? Any details you can share with me? I'll share, I'll share everything and I'll get in trouble for it. That'll be okay, great. Because um, <laughs> I don't know what my restrictions are. And so I'm just like, let's talk. Perfect. Um, we're gonna get married in, uh, in, it's just north of Nashville at an amazing location called Cherokee Docks. Uh, Cherokee Docks was Reba McIntyre's uh, old house. Cool. And she sold it to an event venue. And I'm telling you, it is incredible. Um, FET Nashville has been the wedding planners, helped out uh, Jess and her mom and my mom, um, along with my mom has an event planner uh, who's actually my assistant, Megan uh, Betjeman, um, uh from, I uh, forget the name of her company, Re uh, something Revel, but I'll, yeah. Um, but she's awesome, so she's been helping with rehearsal. But um, FET, uh, Nashville, and uh, Cherokee Docs have really been leading the charge um, on the wedding. And then um, one of the, so I'll, I'll walk through the wedding with you. Hopefully a lot of it's helpful. So we're gonna have three officiants. Wow. Um, the reason we did this is because Jessica has a family friend and her parents' pastor and her pastor uh, from Nashville that she loves and I love. Um, and then I have a pastor from Denver, Colorado, who's been a great friend of mine. So her pastor's name is Ken Leggett. My pastor's name is Chad Brueggemann. Chad Brueggemann has been a part of my life for years now. We've traveled to Honduras together, um, became really good friends, and I wanted him to be a part of the wedding. But then I also have uh, my pastor growing up, who is my parents' best friend who is somebody that um, has been around really since my days on The Bachelor. He helped guide me through that. He was, he made an appearance, actually. Uh, I talked to him. I remember that. that. Yeah, um, he is gonna be there as well. So they're gonna take turns. Um, we kind of have a flow to it. I think it's gonna be great. Um, it's gonna be a fairly traditional ceremony, um, a little more reverent, a little more um, uh, just calm, because our reception, based on what Jessica and I have, have been a part of and seen and kind of wanted for our wedding, we want it to be a party as soon as you walk through the door. So we're not having a sit down dinner. Um, we are doing food stations. So like pizza, uh, wraps, chips and salsa, nachos, um, also fairly COVID friendly. So everything's like individually, you know, given to you and then you kind of walk around. So not everybody's standing over a buffet line or sitting around a table, you know, spitting and talking on each other. Um, <laughs> And so that was something important, but we really wanted the music to start as soon as you walk in. Uh, we wanted to get the bars open, the food going, uh, no sit down. We will do our traditional dances, um, but we wanted people just moving and grooving for the for the reception. And, uh, and one of the big catalysts to that was, I believe um, that we have the best wedding uh, orchestra um, in the world. I will put my name on it. The Taylor Pace Orchestra is gonna be at our wedding They've been around for a while. Uh, they came out and did, um, I think you all covered it, but uh, I, I produced this show in Denver before COVID. It was called the Wedding Festival where Ken get, uh, couples got married at one time on a stage. Oh, yes. It was a big food and music festival afterwards. It was awesome. Then COVID happens and it never happens again, maybe for a while. But um, they were the band at that. They had 2,000 people dancing all night long. And I was like, that's, if, if we splurge on anything, Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good band. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that was the band we got. And so we're going to have a band going. Um, some incredible people have, have donated items, you know, be it liquor or be it um, lighting. Um, it's going to be really special. I know it's been a long time in the making because of COVID and delays and stuff. But is there one thing you're most looking forward to about finally getting to the wedding day? <sighs> yeah, all of it. Um, all of it. I would say um, the yeah the, the the big thing for me is um, you know we've been engaged since March of 2020. Um, I always imagined just knowing who I am that I would be so anxious and nervous and and questioning leading up to the wedding, like mm -hmm. just a thousand questions in my head about like you know not even bad questions, good questions. I thought I'd be questioning a lot and I'm not. And I'm, a, I'm like extremely at peace with the idea of marrying Jessica, which um, I know I'll look back on this season and think of how much of a butt like gift that was. Like I'm in a good headspace and I'm excited for the wedding. I'm excited that we're taking this step together. I think that's the big thing is I'm just, I'm, 
you know, in, in a lot of ways, you know, we've been dating for three years. In my mind, we've been married for a long time. Um, we, you know, the commitment has been there, but now we get to do it in front of friends and family on a public stage. And that to me is something uh, sacred and special and that I'm ready for. Um, I'm sure the day of I'll have anxiety and I'm sure the day of I'll have nerves and I'm sure the day of I'll probably my head will be spinning with, whoa, this is crazy. Um, but um, I'm also uh, ready to, um, you know, I think there is this level of, of when you get married, like you're making the commitment to not only get married and be together, but a partnership, like a depth of a partnership. And I'm excited to, to like enter into that with her and to see where that takes us in life. Um, those are the, and then finally, um, I, you know, there's uh, one of, through our uh, premarital counseling, the pastor said, um, you know, there's two days that, uh, so many people that you love, uh, are in one room, your wedding day and your funeral. Oof. Um, it's Fair crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy. I'm excited to look around a room full of people that have had a huge impact in my life and friends, you know, we were very selective. Uh, with our guest list, uh, but also um, it's a big guest list because there's so many people that have actively cared for us, been involved in our lives, created stories with us and memories with us. And, and I'm excited to see them in one room. Can you tell me who from Bachelor Nation will be in attendance? Yeah, and I'm gonna miss people. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna just rattle off the list and see if I can pick them all up. Okay. Um, my co-host of Almost Famous, Ashley Iconetti. Uh, my former co-host and now the sole host of The Bachelor Live on Stage, Becca Kufrin. Jared will be there. Thomas will be there as well. Um, have you met Thomas yet? I have not. No, I have not. Exciting. Um, so they will be there. Uh, in addition to that, Dean and Kaylin. Um, Chase McNary and his girlfriend. Uh, Blake Hortzman and Elise Del Delhoun oh. will be there. Um, Becca Tilly will be there. Wells Adams is an usher in my wedding. He's the only Bachelor uh, alum that's an usher. I love Wells. We became really good friends over the years. Nick Vile will be there with his girlfriend. Uh, Chris Souls will be there. Oh, Sean Booth will be there. I'm going to miss people. I know it. I love that. I feel like I'm sure I know everyone's probably friends, but as a as a Bachelor Nation viewer, I wish I had a camera there to see if there are any interactions or crossing paths with some exes going on here. Yeah, I actually used to think about that. If there is, I mean, obviously Becca was on my season and we became such good friends. Yeah, and Chris's season. And Chris's, that's true. That's a good point. Um, trying to think if there's any other crossovers there. Blake and Becca, but they've hung out before. Yeah, they've been together since their uh, little escapades. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, Caitlin Bristow's on tour right now for her podcast, so her and Jason can't be there. They have a Boston show that night, um, and that is important to them. And so, uh, obviously, like, there's a lot of people that, you know, Jared, myself, Sean, um, and so she would have had, like, a reunion. Um, yeah, that would have been a good one. What about Tanner? Um, I, see, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. I have to ask. Jess knows all of this because yeah, she's okay. done the invite list. So I can't, like, I don't know for sure. Um, I love Tanner. I, I would imagine he he was 